known in history as an American social reformer, lecturer, and club woman, the story of Fanny Barrier Williams is incredible. Fanny Barrier Williams was born into a free black family on February 12, 1855 in Brockport, New York. When sharing educational accomplishments, Fanny was the first African-American to graduate from Brockport State Normal School, now called SUNY College at Brockport. Fanny would go on to find love marrying Lang Williams in 1887. They went on to move to Chicago, where Fanny Barrier Williams became heavily involved in activism. Another interesting fact I didn't know was how Fanny helped a famous black medical professional in history. Fanny assisted Daniel Hale Williams to establish Provident Hospital in Chicago in 1891, helping to create opportunities for black doctors and nurses, as well as its associated nursing school for black women. Williams was involved in the creation of the National Association of Colored Women, becoming a powerful voice for social justice and equality becoming so well known that Fanny was the only African-American selected to eulogize Susan B. Anthony at the National American Women's Suffrage Association convention. Williams would also assist another icon in black history. I am talking about her work with W.E.B. Du Bois, helping to found the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Fanny remained active in social reform and education until her death, where she died on March 4th, 1944 in Brockport, New York. Those were just a few interesting facts. And we want to thank Mrs. Monroe Whitsett of Commodore John Berry Elementary School in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, for sharing Fanny's story with us. But don't go anywhere because we have you covered with another icon in black history named Daniel Hale Williams on Fresberg Cartoon. 